Australia's black summer fires have left a shocking effect on Earth's atmosphere. So reads the headline at Science Alert. The story goes on to describe Australia's black summer wildfires between 2019 and 2020 because it's in the southern hemisphere, so the summer straddles two years as winter does in the northern hemisphere. Here's the story from Science Alert. Smoke measurably heated the stratosphere for months on end. Specifically, in the case of the Black Summer fires, the flames sent almost a trillion grams, approximately 0.9 teragrams, of smoke particles up into the stratosphere, which the researchers explain is the largest amount ever documented in the satellite era. The team explains, quote, simulations suggest that the smoke remained in the stratosphere for all of 2020. It measurably warmed the stratosphere by about 1 to 2 K, 1 to 2 degrees Kelvin, which is equivalent to 1 to 2 degrees Celsius, for more than six months. So for an extended period of time, the smoke heated the stratosphere contrary to the notion of the aerosol masking effect or global dimming. So yet again, the situation proves more complicated than we have so far been allowed to evaluate. The findings were reported in the peer-reviewed geophysical research letters in a paper titled Persistent Stratospheric Warming Due to 2019-2020 Australian Wildfire Smoke. It was written by Peng Fai Yu and eight other colleagues for geophysical research letters. And the, the paper, to which I'll include a link in the blog post at GuyMcPherson.com, released the same day as this video. The paper is available for all to see. It's an open access journal. And essentially it includes in quite complicated language the same information presented in the science alert. So I'll leave you with that. Remember, at the age of extinction, only love remains and a lot of confusion about what's going on in the atmosphere with smoke and black carbon.